Our physics project is about Newton's first law and centripetal force. Newton's first law states that an object in motion will stay in a straight line at a constant speed until an outside force is acted upon it. First, as you can see, Wallace taking the penny and placing it inside the blown up balloon and then tying the balloon. She holds the balloon and gives the balloon a little shake to spin the penny. As the penny is tracing the path inside of the balloon, it's following centripetal force, not centrifugal. The penny is staying in motion until another force acts upon it. Gravity as well as friction is acting on the penny, pulling it down towards the bottom of the balloon until it stops. Newton's first law also states that the object will stay in a straight line at a constant speed unless it's acted upon. The only reason the penny follows the fictitious centripetal path is because the barrier of the balloon stops the penny from going straight. Centripetal force is actually not a force because the only reason the penny is following the circular path is because of the balloon. Next, Michaela takes a hex nut, hex nut that is shaped like a hexagon and places it inside the blown up balloon. Then she gives the balloon a shake and the balloon this time produces a noise when the hex nut goes round and round. The centripetal force with the hex nut is demonstrated similarly to the penny, but since the hex nut is heavier and not as smooth as compared to the penny, when it is spun around, it makes a noise. The friction between the balloon and the ridges of the hex nut causes the balloon to scream when it is spun at such a fast pace. You can even feel the vibrations of the hex nut against the balloon when it is spun fast because of the friction it is creating. The flat edges of the hex nut allows it to vibrate and bounce along the inside wall of the balloon. The screaming sound is created by the sides of the hex nut bouncing and vibrating along the sides of the balloon. For the second experiment, we filled up a bucket halfway with water. Then we spun the bucket over in a circular path. As you can see, none of the water fell out of the bucket. Again, according to Newton's first law of motion, objects in motion remain in motion unless acted upon by an external force. In this case, Newton's law as well as centripetal force requires the water to continue to move along a tangent line to the circle. The force keeps it turning toward the center of the circle. The water is accelerating downward because of the motion, but the force of gravity is also downward. This spinning motion keeps the water from leaving the bucket thanks to the centripetal force.